got a couple of surprises this week. Next month, he'll release the Black Album. It's a funk album with X-rated lyrics, and there are still more unconfirmed, unconfirmed reports that he'll begin a U.S. tour in January. But the big news is Prince's concert movie that opens this weekend. It was Sign of the Times in Times Square Thursday night at a special screening of the film. The Paisley one himself didn't show up, but plenty of fans waited in line to catch a glimpse of his co-stars, Sheila E. and Kat, a dancer who a couple of years ago was just another fan. Now she's dancing alongside her idol. I never thought that I would actually be on the same stage with him. I never thought that I would even get to meet him. So when, when all this happened, I just accepted it and said, thank God, you know, this is great because this is my dream come true. While she leaves backing up Prince, she also continues her successful solo career, and here's a look at how she does it. Playing drums for me is is more exciting, more fulfillment musically than, than being a solo artist. I wanted people to take me serious as a musician. And that's why, that was the, the main reason in joining Prince's band was to play drums and, and let, let everybody know I could play drums. Sheila E. has always wanted to show people she could play, starting with her father, respected San Francisco percussionist Pete Escovito. He inspired Sheila to start tapping the congas at age three, but having a daughter in the macho world of Latin percussion, it just wasn't done. And he wanted me to play violin, so I did that for about five years and I couldn't stand it anymore, so I quit. And I started playing drums, and I played one concert with him when I was 15, and I got a standing ovation, and from that feeling, I had never had that happen to me before. And I knew that then that's what I wanted to do. Sheila went on to tour as percussionist with Marvin Gaye and Lionel Richie. In 1979, she met Prince, who wanted her to be his drummer. But she had other commitments, so in the meantime, Prince got her a solo deal. In fact, he practically forced her into the role of singing front person. At that time, I couldn't play drums with him. So he said, why don't you do an album first? And I did not like singing, but he says, you can sing and just go ahead and try it. Just, you know, it's really easy. So um, I tried it, and it was easier than, than it would have been with other people. Jill is grateful to Prince for that, but she's even more grateful to be driving his band from the drum chair. The main thing is he's, he's taught me to have confidence in myself, which is good, because now I, I know, I don't think anymore, I know that I'm the baddest drummer out. Not because I'm a female or not because I want to be better than a male, but just a drummer, period. And once I get on stage, it's my house. Nobody can mess with me. <laughs> No, that wasn't Prince waiting online, just an incredible simulation. But this Sign of the Times premiere was attended by the real Sheila E., Kat Glover, and Greg Brooks from Prince's band. Sign of the Times, shot on Prince's summer European tour, adds drama to the concert with Between Songs vignettes. They hint at a love triangle between Prince, dancer Kat, and backup singer Brooks, who says they're based on real life. I'm really into Cat. I don't think she know how much I'm into Cat, but I'm really into Cat. Uh, that could be true. <laughs> I didn't think Prince knew that I really liked the Cat. It's, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> I get to watch what's going on, and, and, and sometimes to see the reaction, I always watch Brooks trying to get at Cat, you know, and, and I see her just looking like, leave me alone. But the centerpiece of the movie is most definitely the show. The music, the dancing, the band, and of course, Prince. He was extraordinary. I mean, that's Prince for you. The badness, the royal badness. Great film, great concert film. Seeing him live, on the, I didn't know he directed it. I thought he did a great job. I think he really likes Michael Jackson look foolish, actually. I think he's a much better dancer. Great, a better musician also. I thought it was a little, not as ambitious as his previous stuff, Purple Rain and Under the Cherry Moon. And it was a bit self-indulgent. Prince put a good show on, Shelly E. The whole crew, it was good. Very good, very good. Real good. Prince, 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 good. Pr